Okay, so uh, now I'm going to explain uh, left-leaning red-black trees. And um, just to remind you, uh, this analysis is going to be all based on two, three, four trees uh, from the previous videos. And, um, and basically what we have in uh, uh, two, uh, three, four trees is um, that um, we add new element to um, existing uh, leaf, right? And um, the other is that we break up uh, four nodes um, uh, on the way down. Okay, so um, so one can implement uh, two, three, four trees directly, but um, there are all kinds of uh, detailed complications, like uh, how uh, much space to uh, allocate to each node, because the node uh, might start as a two node, might grow to a three, four node, and so on. So basically, uh, red-black trees are a binary tree where the um, uh, three and four nodes are... Um, represented as groups of um, uh, two nodes, okay? So here is a, a three node. Uh, let's say that uh, it contains uh, A and B. So um, it's represented as a B, uh, as, a, as a two node here, and then, uh, and then an A here, okay? So that's pretty simple. And uh, similarly, an A, B, C, a four node, would be represented as A, B, C, okay? And the four edges that come out of here would be equivalent to the four edges that come out of here, okay? So you can kind of think about this as the internal representation of the four node. Okay, so, um, so this is uh, an example of a, of a tree here, are, um, of a two, three, four tree, and here is a three node, and another three node and a four node. Okay. So um, so the main thing is um, that the representation um, is very specific. So the three node has only one representation, which is uh, a, a red edge going to the left, and the four node has a simple representation, which is one, one node with a red edge going both to the right and the left. And this uh, representation of a three node is not allowed, and these representations of uh, four nodes are not allowed. Okay, so um, so we will have to do some extra work to uh, remove um, situations uh, to correct situations like that. All right. So um, how do we insert a new node? Uh, we do it essentially the very similar to the two, three, four trees. Um, basically, we go all the way to the bottom, and then we add it to the node there. But here we have only a binary tree, so what we do is we add the new node at the bottom uh, and connect it with a red link to the node above. So they're essentially the same node. Okay, so here is uh, a B uh, node, uh, I mean a node that has only two edges, and we connect an A, so um, we get um, A connected here to B, and that's a legitimate representation, so we use it. If um, we have an A node here and um, we add the element B, so now we have a red edge going to the right, which we don't allow, so we do a rotation, and we end up with the same representation here, which is the same representation as this three node. Okay. Uh, similarly, if we add uh, a node to, um, if we add an, an element to a three node, we have three cases. Either we add the element before, in the middle, or after. And in all of these cases, um, we basically get to the same, um, to the same uh, representation. So we have here, let's say, A, B, C, uh, C here, and A here, and B here. And uh, that's not uh, an okay representation, so we have to rotate this node. So we get um, A, uh, B, C, and we have to rotate it again 
um, this time this node we have to rotate to the right so this edge so uh, we get a b c which is the legitimate representation of a b c which is what we want in all of these cases okay all right so um so now about splitting um, a for node. Um, splitting a for node is actually a very simple uh, operation. We don't need to do much. Uh, all we need to do is here is a for node. And what we do is we make this uh, black, this black, and this red. So after we split, um, we have uh, now um, a red edge coming uh, up from this um, for node. Okay, so that's very similar if you think about it to adding a new node where you basically take the node and connect it to something above it with a red edge. Okay, um, now remember this can generate um, configurations above that are not the legitimate ones, they're not allowed. So um, we have to deal with that. Okay, so here is uh, an example of. Um, uh, situation like that, um, that uh, we are adding this um, four node to this two node, and the four node is uh, represented uh, like this. And um, uh, after we do the color flip, we have uh, this configuration, which is not uh, legitimate because um, uh, it's a right uh, leaning uh, three node. Okay, so um, so we have to make it a left node, and we do that by doing a rotation around the C, uh, the C A. Okay, so the C goes up and the A goes down and gets connected to the B here. And now we have uh, a configuration that is uh, legitimate, and here this represents a three node, which is this A C three node, and B and D are connected below. Um, similarly, we can get complications when we connect a four node, when we split a four node that is connected uh, below uh, a three node. Here in this case, uh, it's connected in the middle. So we have an AE uh, three node and a BCD four node below it. And so here is the AE node represented and here is the BCD node represented. And when we flip the colors of the BCD node, we get this uh, new red node, red edge, um, and this red edge um, is in an illegal configuration. So we have to do uh, first a rotate left in order to get it into uh, this configuration, and then uh, rotate right this edge to get this configuration. And now we have again a legitimate configuration. This is a four node, and these are two nodes below it and can be represented uh, in two, three, four nodes in this way, okay? So this is, uh, this is uh, basically what we need to do in terms of fixes um, using rotations, okay? So um, to summarize the uh, red-black, it's basically exactly the same um, algorithm as two, three, four trees. The difference is that um, the uh, operations of um, uh, splitting a four node and of adding a new node are represented as adding um, as generating new red edges uh, in this uh, tree and um, these can generate all kinds of um, um, disallowed configurations so the way to deal with this most efficiently is to basically correct all of those on the way up. So we go down the tree, we break any four nodes, and um, if we don't have the elements we want, we add it. And um, then when we go back up the path that we went down in, we do um, rotations to fix the um, configurations um, that are, that are uh, illegitimate. And it turns out we don't need to do any other locations. The, these, these problems don't, don't percolate to other places in the tree.